Liam Hendricks, Red Sox, two years, 10 million guaranteed with additional performance bonuses. This feels like a really nice club friendly deal. Uh, Liam obviously is a guy who's going to go where he wants because of that pedigree and that motor. He's one of the best in the game. He's healthy. We spoke to him not too long ago. Uh, th this feels like a nice ad for Boston. Yeah, and think about it, because that 10 years, it's spread out over two years, right? So you're looking at five guaranteed per year. You know, let's just do the math in an average kind of setting. And look, if he earns bonuses, the Red Sox are going to be happy about that. Yeah. Because that means he's pitching and he's pitching well. And if he's doing that, uh, there's probably a good chance the Red Sox are doing okay themselves. So I like that deal right there. This might mean, you know, Kenley Jansen is headed out of town. He's got one more year of contract uh, con canvas left. And they were, there was discussion about him perhaps going someplace else. Maybe not. Maybe you have two closers at the back of a bullpen. It's a, it's a younger group now. And maybe what this is telling us is that Craig Breslow is going to build his Red Sox staff uh, with a bullpen first mentality because there was room for improvement based on last year's rankings. There are a couple teams doing this, Rip. The Mets come to mind. They're building bullpen strength because maybe what's out there on the market right now isn't to their liking financially. So why not fortify the pen? Yeah, and this is probably – like more than necessity when you look at those numbers I instead of doing it the other way around because I still think I'd prefer to load up my starting rotation with guys and then you can mix and match and do some stuff but if you can fortify the back end of the bullpen and start working backwards nine eight seven six now your starters aren't necessarily pressed so much and maybe you can get away with that for the time being but this is probably because of what you said the market's out there let's kind of go that direction now see where we go, and then maybe make a move later. Yeah. Uh, the late, great Kevin Towers used to say about his Padres teams that he used to have to kind of scrap together with waiver wire ads and Rule 5 guys. He right. used to say, when you know you're not that good, you build your bench and your bullpen, your two Bs, and you hope that you have stuff that maybe you could move at the break. There's always going to be something. If a team makes a splash, look, I don't think that anybody's projecting the Red Sox to be at the top of the AL East. I'm not. I know you're not. Uh, and most people aren't. But if something gives early in the year, something breaks your way, and you're set up where you can win those games that you have to win by your bullpen being good, that's going to add the add to the process along the way. So yeah. I, I, I like this move right here because I think this dude qualifies as that one dude that it will take the ball. You know, he's saying, yep. no, give it to me. And I think when you're young in, the, in that bullpen area, I think he can uh, shed a little bit of light out there in the uh, confines of the bullpen during the course of the first six or seven innings of the game. Maybe these young dudes pick something up.